Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with Big Timber Lodge, and today I want you to watch this video before you buy a Glock 43X holster. All right, today I'm gonna to cover two of the most common styles of inside the waistband holsters. I'm not gonna cover outside the waistband holster because you have a Glock 43X and those are meant to be concealed, right? So we have on the left in black, a hip or back inside the waistband holster. This you'll notice has two attachment points for the belt and is also tuckable. On the right, we have an appendix carry holster that only has one clip attachment with a wing to help stabilize the holster against the inside of the belt. These are the two most commonly used inside the waistband holsters, not only for the Glock 43X, but also for any sort of conceal and carry type pistol. So let's cover the differences. For the demonstration of the different types of holsters, I would like to point out that the Glock 43X is empty and does not have a magazine in it. Okay, can you tell how I'm carrying my pistol? Is it back, is it hip, or is it appendix? If you guessed appendix, you're correct. It's one of the benefits though of having baggy clothes on. The appendix carry does make it very easy to have access to for that quick draw and up and press. A lot of people prefer this style of carry because it's going to give them the fastest access to a draw if needed in the front side because typically the bad person you're aiming at is in front of you. All right, next up we have the hip or back style of holster. Once again, in a baggy shirt, it's very difficult to tell that I'm carrying a pistol. Right here. So I find this to be one of the most comfortable carries for an inside the waistband holster. Now it does make it a little bit awkward to have to reach back. Now with, with enough practice, you can get good training for your hand to just go straight back to where it needs to be and draw the pistol out. However, for a reholster though, it could be a little bit more difficult to get it back into the holster than with the appendix carry. But for concealability, I find this is actually more concealable than an appendix carry because typically people are looking at the front of you, not the back of you. All right, now I'm not in a baggy shirt. I'm also a bigger guy. And this is what it looks like to have that back or hip style holster. Now, if you're in a tighter clothing, you don't want to be wearing your pistol in the inside waistband holster on the hip. That's really going to leave a big printing. Now, if I rotate to the back, you can see it's kind of difficult to even tell that I'm wearing a pistol. If you know what you're looking for, the signs are there, especially if I bend over or do something like that. But I find that this position for a bigger person like myself is the most concealable when I'm wearing lightweight summertime clothing. All right, so I now have my Glock 43X in the appendix carry position. There's some slight printing here, but nothing too crazy. It does print a little bit more than what I was getting back here. Now, one of the benefits of being a bigger guy is typically you get a bigger butt, which actually makes a more of a slope from your lower back down over your buttocks giving you more room to hide that printing. Whereas when you're a bigger dude with, the, with an appendix carry, it tends to stretch the fabric over your lower midsection, making printing more noticeable. Now it's also just as easy to get up and then press and reholster. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the demonstration between the appendix style and the back or hip style carry. I have to say, as a bigger guy that does carry pretty much every day, any place that I can, and when I can, I typically carry with the hip or back style of carry. I just find this holster to be more comfortable and also more concealable for my typical day-to-day -day attire, especially during the summer months. However, that's not to say that if I'm at the house and all of a sudden I'm like, oh man, I need to run to the gas station or the store, and I don't want to have to lace these onto, you know, pants or a belt, 
and actually sit there and do it. I can literally just grab this holster and then tuck it into my pants and clip it and go, right? Another thing that I wanted to mention too is that neither one of these are like insanely comfortable to be sitting in and wearing as well, especially the appendix style carry. I have a lifted truck. It's because I go hunting and off-roading. It's not like crazy lifted, but when I get into my truck, I have to lift this leg. This appendix carry holster goes up and then pushes the back of the pistol into my stomach or my gut. It is not comfortable at all. So typically what I end up doing is just unclipping the holster from my pants, pulling the pistol in the holster out and then putting it in between the two front seats so that I can have it right next to my knee. Um, same thing with this guy, right? So even with this one, when I'm getting into my truck, I typically will draw the pistol out put it into a location for quick access if I ever needed it in the vehicle. But there's a benefit to having it in the appendix carry holster when you're doing this. Because when I'm in my driveway, nobody cares. But if I go to the local grocery store or gas station, and all of a sudden people see me get out of my car with the pistol and start putting it back here, this, just seeing this in your hand, makes people a little bit nervous, right? So I have to be more conspicuous when I put it back into this location versus if it's in this and somebody sees this in this purple and white thing, nobody cares. I just grab it out, slide it in the front of my pants, clip on the belt and pull my shirt over and go. So there is a benefit to that. Now, as far as speed of access to your handguns go, a lot of the tactical people are going to be like, you have to carry appendix, that's your fastest access. That's your fastest, you got to come up and press, you got to come up and press, it's your fastest access, right? Cool. You know, if, if that, if that, you know, half a second or quarter second more it is going to make you happy, then do it. But the thing is, is regardless of where you carry your holster, you have to practice with them. Because otherwise, you're going to be fumbling around, right? You could be, oh, oh man, I got my stuck in my shirt. It, the clip's wrong, wrong, or oh, I can't get it from back here. So you have to practice. I have found I have become efficient with both of these. As far as speed draws go, am I the fastest person? No. But am I accurate when I shoot? Absolutely. Am I confident when I draw? Absolutely. Get yourself a timer, run some speed drills, put some pressure on you to do this. And, and not just practice, you know, with nothing in the pistol like this, but actually take it to a range slowly because you don't want to accidentally shoot yourself in the foot or shoot yourself in the dick. No offense. But after you do some practices with some, you know, dry runs, take it to the range in a safe environment, start off slow, but then actually try doing it with some live ammunition. So I hope this has been helpful. Until next time, peace.